everybody, it's Erin. Today I wanna do an EFT tapping meditation for attracting your SP. This is going to be the ultimate SP manifestation EFT tapping session. If you're involved in the law of assumption or a manifestation community, then you probably know that attracting your SP has a lot more to do with self-love. Keep this in mind as we go through the tapping session. In this session, I am gonna include empowering questions, which is my favorite technique of asking your subconscious mind a question such as, why is it so easy for me to love myself? And allowing your subconscious mind to start automatically giving you answers to that question. I'm also gonna end this tapping meditation by asking you to complete two very important sentences that are gonna solidify in your subconscious mind this complete transformation. If you know my tapping style, you know I like to have a glass of water with me so that as I go through and say the affirmations, I am imbuing these water molecules with the intention. After the meditation, we will go ahead and drink this water. Thank you so much for taking the time to sit down and be really present and intentional with yourself. This is incredible, transformative, and effective work. I guarantee that after this tapping meditation, you are going to feel a shift. And if you continue to do this, I say within at least three days, you are going to feel like a new person. Let's get started. Tapping on the side of the hand. Even though my person and I are separated right now, I choose to fully love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I feel this sadness that we're separated, I choose to fully love, honor, and accept myself. Even though I'm not feeling loved right now, I choose to fully love, honor, and accept myself. Even though part of me may feel desperate for my person's validation, I choose to fully love, honor, and accept myself. Even though part of me may feel like I need approval. I choose to fully love, honor, and approve of myself. Even though part of me doesn't feel worthy of the love that I desire, I choose to fully love, honor, and accept myself. All this fear, all this insecurity, all this inadequacy, I can feel it in my body. Noticing where I feel it in my body Noticing if it has a color or a shape or a texture or a temperature. All this sadness. All this desperation. All this longing. I'm allowing myself to feel it in my body now. Noticing where I feel it in my body. Noticing if it has a shape or a color or a texture or a temperature. I allow myself to be aware of my feelings now. I 
not resisting them, not identifying with them, just allowing, just awareness. And I choose to be open to the possibility that the universe made me always lovable, just as I am. And I'm open to the possibility that there's nothing wrong with me and there never was. And I choose to be open to the possibility that I'm worthy of the love that I desire. And even if part of me may think there's evidence to suggest that I'm not worthy of love, I'm open to the idea that this is just not true. This is just false programming. And I'm clearing these blocks to self-love now. Clearing all blocks to self-love on a cellular level Clearing all blocks to self-love all the way back through time. And I'm open to the idea that my reality is a mirror. I can accept that if I don't believe I'm worthy of all the love I desire, then I will manifest a reality in which I prove myself right. And even though it may feel scary or unfair, I choose to take full responsibility for my own well-being. I choose to take full responsibility for my relationships. For my life. For my happiness. I choose to take full responsibility for my heart. I choose to take full responsibility for my vitality. And I'm open to the idea that it only takes one person to change a relationship. Because when I change, the dynamic changes. And the other person has to shift. And perhaps my person wants to shift. Perhaps my person wants the same juicy, fulfilling relationship that I do. Perhaps my person really wants to love and cherish me and feel like they're an incredible partner to me. And perhaps I can start to see this situation from a new perspective. It is my intention to transform this relationship now by transforming my self-concept. I choose to identify as someone 
who is worthy of love. I choose to identify as someone who is loved and adored. And I choose to know that when I love and cherish myself, others love and cherish me. I choose to know that when I am the center of my world, I am the center of my person's world. And even if it takes a little time, <clears throat> and even if it takes a little repetition, even if some affirmations feel weird at first, that's okay. I choose to commit to myself. Even if it's just 1% better every day, I choose to commit to my happiness. I choose to commit to my body. I choose to commit to my heart. I choose to return to myself over and over again. Even if there's sometimes distractions like loud cars driving past the window. Consistency is more important than intensity. I know that when I commit to me, I inspire others to commit to me. When I treat myself with love and devotion, others treat me with love and devotion. I choose to identify as someone who is treasured and prioritized. I choose to identify as someone who is beautiful and desired. I choose to identify as someone who is perfect, whole, and complete, exactly as I am. I treat my heart like it matters. And so other people treat my heart like it matters. I treat my body like it matters. And so other people treat my body like it matters. I allow my beautiful energy to be earned because it is valuable. We're going to move into the empowering questions now. Why is it so easy for me to love myself? Why is it so easy for me to be loved by others? Why is it so easy for me to be cherished and adored? Why is it so easy for me to feel confident? Why is it so easy for me to have an incredible life? What would it take for me to commit to myself?
What would it take for me to become the center of my world? Why is it so easy for me to do these things? Why is it so easy for me to adore and cherish myself? What does it feel like to be in loving harmony with my person? What makes our relationship beautiful right now? How is my person already showing me love? Why is it so easy for me to inspire and compel my person to cherish me? What would it take to inspire and compel my person to cherish me? Why is this easier now than ever before? What does it feel like to hear my person say that I'm beautiful? What does it feel like when we melt into each other? What does it feel like to be totally self-loving? Why is it so easy for me to sustain these good feelings? Why is it so easy for me to return to these feelings every day? The truth is, it's getting easier and easier for me to love myself. I'm realizing that I'm magnificent. The truth is, it is easier now than ever before to love myself. It's easier now than ever before to choose myself. And it's easier now than ever before for others to choose me. And now go ahead and finish the sentence. I've changed because now I know. And finish the sentence. I've changed because now I feel. Good job. Take a deep breath and stretch. Excellent work. Now is the perfect time to take a sip of this water. Great job, everybody. This meditation was adapted from a personalized commissioned tapping video that I made for one of my first commissions. If you like my work, feel free to commission your own tapping video through my Buy Me A Coffee page, which I will link below. I also now offer personalized manifestation email coaching. This is the most affordable email coaching program that I have seen on the internet. It is my intro offer. It's available for only a limited time. All those details are on my Buy Me A Coffee page linked in the description and in the pinned comment. As always, thank you so much for tapping. It helps you and everyone else.